Hey there, everybody. Uh, this is the second part of uh, Wallace and Gromit Project 2. Now, one thing I notice is actually the hints, uh, which I like never pay attention to those. Okay, build the banana gun, rescue the elephant over the water, or open the door to the second section, which both of those is pretty much like the same thing, because once you rescue the elephant, then you'll be able to get to the second section. Yeah, this whole level has like three sections to it. It's pretty massive. Uh, Alright, so then we'll be able to get to the uh the elephant unless we get up there and push the cart back. Alrighty then. Now the only way to get up there is by going uh through a route to the treetops here. Alright, yep, big fast food. Yeah, the, the nuts are worth one point and the, the bolts are worth five. Just Yeah, moving left and right or whatever just makes you swing, and then holding the square button makes you go up the rope. I find that kind of interesting. There we go, got it. So yeah, you, can, well, you can do a super jump on the ropes, it's pretty cool. Boxes and other objects can be smashed using the square button. Well, they can surely be falcon punch with the square button. As you can see from way up there that I stopped, there's actually a monkey. Ah, oh, wow, that looks bad. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, this, this now that corner over there is pretty easy. Just do a crouching jump or whatever and get out of there. Some of them are pretty straightforward, like that one. But there's other ones that, oh my god, they're like freaking hard spots. And there's a few that took me forever to find because I was so oblivious because... They're coming up in later worlds, uh, or levels. Yeah, if you fall off of there and don't land in the water, you're gonna die. It's plain simple. Yes, pretty much you can almost do the super jump like anywhere. It's awesome. And I love how the music stops when you get high enough. It's pretty cool. I'm like, holy shit, I'm high up here. Not even the music can save me. That's five out of six. I missed one of those bastard monkeys somewhere, but I just forget exactly where. Oh wow, that was bad. <laughs> now, usually this checkpoint is spawn location. I'm gonna try to commit suicide. No, wow, that didn't work. <laughs> Yeah, usually when you fall off, I just like commit suicide just because it's so much easier than actually having to go through all this shit. Oh really? The time I want you to die is the time that you freaking only take one bit of damage. Wow. Okay, we'll try this one last time. If it doesn't work, let's climb that whole thing again. Oh wow, you suck, bro. <laughs> Right, maybe I can activate the bees. Uh, how'd the bees kill me? How's that? Oh, bees, die. Die, bees, die. No. Come on. I'm gonna destroy your home, bees. Oh god, bees. Bees. Too many bees. Ah! Ah! Gravit's gonna get his ass stung into a million pieces. And that didn't work, because while well, they respawned me back here with jackasses. I mean, that, I didn't even know that was a spawn location, because I never spawned there before. Oh, wow, that was, a, so that was for nothing. Wow. I'm going to apologize for my stupidity. You'll see much more of that later on. I'm not perfect at this game by any means. That's why this isn't like a, a perfect let's It's a let's play, not a freaking like, perfect walkthrough. Like, oh, Hold the square button and use the left analog stick. Climb up and down ropes. Yeah, that's annoying hearing the guy say that over and over again. Yeah, I probably should have done this the first time. Wow, I'm already here already. Now this time I'm not gonna miss the fucking rope. There we go. Yeah, I don't even think I need health. No, I don't.
camera angle's not that brilliant. There you go. Bob's buns. Mmm. No, shit. Oh, now I die. <laughs> oh, at least the, the bot, at least the freaking elephant's down there. And of course they respawn me back up here. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't get done. It has a triangle symbol right above it. I think I know that. But thanks anyway. Now, as you can see, the uh, second area is open. I don't think there's really any more challenges in this section, except for a little bit further on. Uh, the point that I don't know. I have to point this out. This uh, this vending machine over here hit when you when you activate it, it's the only one that makes a boing noise. All the other ones do not make that noise. I have no idea why that is or anything, but just the way it is. Now 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 with this, I need a I need a tool to activate this, and some of the. If you can hear that really loud ringing noise, that's the tool. I better find some more tools for this job, Gromit. That'll come in handy. Those tools really like to know, uh, let, let you know that they're there. <laughs> you hear those freaking ring from a mile away. And yes, you can go in here. Why I went in here? Well, as you'll see in a moment. What the hell is this place? Yeah, it's a bonus level. And it's more like a bonus challenge, is what they should have called it, because all these bonus levels is like, are, are pretty... They're like, they're, like te they're, they're definitely skill challenges. And all they, all they do is freaking test how much you freaking are good at this game. And then each one of them has a coin at the end waiting for you. Except for some, like this one, for example, that has two, and I just missed that. Wow! There's that, you fail noise. Like, like, yeah, there's a, oh, I missed moment! Like, wow, that was so fucking bad. I, I'm surprised a freaking Grommet didn't get sliced to death by the blade. He went right through him and fell to his death instead. Like, nope, those blades you can't die from, but the bottomless pit, yep. Funny how they do that. It makes you look like you're gonna fall off, but you have to put it on. Yeah, now jumping on this little propeller platform or whatever, there's actually another hidden coin over here to the right. Oh yeah, every every so often, every uh, when you get coins or whatever, you actually unlock movie clips and whatnot. Yeah, these red platforms break. Or fall, whatever. And they never come back, so if you actually miss one, you have to freaking kill yourself and start all over again. And there's no checkpoints on the bonus stages. Of course, they have to make these little. these fucking jumps here, which are so hard. I swear to god, they are really hard to make. Wow, okay. No. So I mean, so if you touch that platform and go back to this one, you you basically just fail the challenge. 
go grab it too. I think I got it. Yes. Okay, there we go. Now going down the, the exit that way or going to the beginning that may take you back to the same place. There's no like hidden exit or anything like in Mario Bros. or anything. Alright, now those are the last challenges of this section. And now that I, now that I, and now that I did that, I actually will, uh, Actually, we'll end the video right here. This is because this is the second section of the game. So, yeah. So, thank you all for watching, and I'll. Uh, s s oh, actually, wait. I forgot about the cutscene. <laughs> Up you go, lad. Sure as your monkey impression. It's, yeah, that's a temple is closed. Please come again. Alright, so I'm ending the video here. So I'll uh, catch you guys later.